So in today's video, I'm going to make these seats fit in the GTO, and then I'm going to make them match the GTO. So that's going to be a bit of a process in itself. First of all, uh, these are Porsche 996 GT3 Recaros, or reps, I think, I don't remember. They're my brother's old seats, he's going to put them in his GTO, because there's a black interior car, and he never did. But... I love the seats, I think they're perfect, I think they're period correct for the car. So, I got everything to make them work in the GTO, and I have all that sitting here, and on the car, or not on the car, it's all sitting here. Uh, but I have everything sitting here, I got uh, Corbeau seat rails that are GTO specific, uh, I got those from Cedar Performance, my buddy Austin's a seller for them. Uh, then I have Recaro adapter plates on the side of these seats. And that's pretty much everything you need to put them in the car. Uh, they're from like a 2004 GT3. We have a set in our 991 uh, Carrera S track car also. So I'm going to start putting these uh, adapter brackets on. Uh, I got to do a few little things. Uh, first of all, like I, got, I put the side plates on the seats already uh, a few weeks ago. And I need to take them off. And then I can put the seats back on. And... That's going to be the start, so I'm going to get to work and knock this all out. to come up to, from what I can tell, basically just pretty rudimentary. <laughs> Alright, so I left my actual camera at my parents' house when I grabbed the seats today, so I'm going to smather all the video together when I edit it, but I just got done dyeing the cushions out of the seats, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show what that looks like. Um, all right, so these are the cushions for the seat, uh, black model light. But this is what it looks like two-tone. I'm not really sure if I love that. I don't really think I like it that much. So I have this seat all masked off to go ahead and knock it out. I need to pull these out still, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dye this whole seat. And it's all prepped. I used uh, Lexol deep leather cleaner on everything before I did this. So I need to pull these off and then dye it. And then I'm gonna let it dry and throw the next pads in here. All right, so it's the next morning since when I recorded the last video. I couldn't fall asleep, so it's eight in the morning. Uh, this I got most of the way done with the last seat and my paint ran out, so I had to wait until AutoZone opened up at 8 a.m. And I grabbed more of the vinyl and fabric paint. Uh, I'll show how the seat looks now. So obviously this seat's kind of splotchy just because it has like one and a half coats on it. On the first seat I didn't pull off the brackets because they felt kind of brittle. But on this one I noticed a lot of the clips were broken so I went ahead and fixed all those clips. The super glue, they're upstairs. Uh, but got everything, all the plastics off the seat. The whole back is uh, covered in tape and paper to keep from getting overspray on it. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep on working on this. seat ready to go in my car this is a just the same seat that I posted in other pictures and videos and stuff but this is all ready to go it's on both the adapter and the slider so it's literally this piece but all for the driver's side uh, so one thing I've screwed up on I got some overspray from the die on there. I'm going to try using acetone or something to take it off. This is all powder coated so it should come off. I hope. Uh, but, so that's all together and ready to go in the car. So, what I have to do on the other seat is what I did on this one. Obviously these are Corbeau Pontiac GTO sliders or adapters and sliders and the issue with the Recaros is that they are too wide to fit on the brackets as they're laid out. So I have to do a little adjustment. All I have to do is shift this out to about right here and then everything works. So I'm going to do that tonight. Got a little box with a drill in it and got very basic tools. I'm hoping I have everything to do it here. If not, then I'll be waiting till I go to my parents' house again because all my tools are out there. But yeah, so first step, I'm going to unbolt those. Or I guess first step, I'm going to draw dots on here where I need to redrill these bolt holes. So I'm going to start that. I've moved to my bathroom to do this. My roommate came home, that's why I kind of stopped abruptly. Um, but I'm going to do all this drilling stuff in my bathroom because it's got a tile floor and it'll be easier to clean up. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't have any wood or anything to set this on, so I just found a box that I don't really care if I destroy. So I'm going to stand up, hold, or probably can't stand on it, but I can put some weight on it to hold that steady. And I marked these holes. I just made sure the rails were going to be in the right spot with them and then kind of aligned them with the holes. The bolts are smaller than those holes so it's not too big of a deal to get it perfect. That one's obviously very far off. All the other ones are pretty close. So I'll probably remark that one. But Otherwise, I'm going to keep recording this. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going to set the camera because I'm in my bathroom. But I guess, I guess we'll figure this out. So first of all, I'm gonna remark this dot here, make it a little bit further back, just so I know I wasn't happy with that one. So, I'm sure it's really echoey, and I'm sure there's some wind noise because the fan just kicks on in my bathroom with lights, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill all these holes out, and then hopefully I just put the sliders back on, and I need to step up the holes in the adapter plates, because otherwise the bolts get cockeyed. That's really all I have to do to this, and then it'll just all be ready to drop in the car. I need to put this, the bolt from this GTO seat into here, and then I'll be done, or I'll be ready to put them in the car at least.
All right, so I got all these holes drilled. They're all good on this bracket, so I can go ahead and put those sliders back on. And then after I get the sliders on, I can go ahead and put the side mounts on. And once the side mounts are on, the seat can go on. So I need to step up the holes and the side mounts, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to do that next. All right, so now I got to step up these holes and these just to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, so I'm going to knock that out real quick and then reassemble everything on the seats. Obviously that hole's a little bit longer, or a little bit bigger, so it'll sit there better. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is sweep up all this, because I don't want metal shavings all over my bathroom floor. Alright, so i got everything drilled out on this now, so I'm going to go ahead and put all the brackets back on it, and hopefully all the holes are the right sizes. They look like they're all the right sizes, but I might have gotten them wrong, so I'm going to do that. So today's episode of Seat Progress, one seat is out. One seat's about to come out. Uh, my brother's helping me put in his old seats into my car. I have one seat in. I don't have the uh, Torx bit to get the seat belt bracket off, so I'm going to pull that off. But he's got to go back to school here in a few minutes, so we're just knocking out getting the seats out of the car and putting the new ones in so I can drive the car again. And I'm going to run up to AutoZone or Lowe's and buy the bit right after I get this done, but I wanted to get the seats in today, so I'll show what those look like. I got one entirely installed. Uh, let's see, it doesn't have much light. Let me pull out my phone light. All right, so that's the stock trim. It doesn't really fit on the rails, but otherwise it fits in here. And that is one Porsche GT3 Recaro fitted in the car. It fits pretty nice from everything I, I look at it. It's, they're a little low in the car, like the headrest come up a little low, but I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna try to hook this on the window frame while we pull out the other seat and continue with the video there. All right, let's see. Can we see in there pretty well? Yeah, all right, cool. And it's recording, so. I'm just gonna probably fast forward all this stuff. Did you get the clips out? No. I'm gonna probably talk through getting the clips off. Um, so I gotta unclip the sensor for the seatbelt and the electric for the uh, controls on the seat. Right now I'm putting the seat in a spot with the bra uh, rails least exposed so it's easiest to get it out of the car. Uh, but that's all I'm doing right now. Um, I'm gonna wiggle it out. same spot so we can see how close the colors are. Um, Eric's going to capture that. So they're really close in color, so that's awesome. Uh, the seat brackets go in pretty easy. It just has to have all the bolt holes lined up, and then we're good. So I'm going to grab everything that's under the uh, seat right now, and then throw the seat back in. Now, 
Throw the new seed in. And run from there. I will say, having, not having the steering wheel in the way on either side is really good. I don't know how you do it. You want to sit in it? Sure. Right. I'll grab the camera. But, yeah, so there's there's the seats installed. Uh, we got to run the seat belt through the harness holes. And like I said, I don't have that Torx bit that you can't see because it's too dark. But I think that feels pretty good. I think that one bolt's kind of cockeyed in there. So, uh, driver's or passenger side front. That should be fine. And I can tip the front end down a little bit further. I think I'm going to do that when I have them out for Tyler to wrap the backs. But I think, I think it fits pretty nice in there. They're a little small, but nothing bad at all. But yeah, so I'm going to start the video probably up after I get it all the way installed. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to mess with this today, so I'm probably going to run the car back to the storage unit and throw the seatbelts on at a later date. But, yeah, so there's a little more of the video of this. All right, so this is my outro to the video. I didn't end up making any more video this afternoon when I drove the car or anything. Uh, the seats felt really good. Uh, everything. I was really happy with how they look in the car. I'm going to throw a picture in the video just to close it out. Uh, but... The seats felt great. I was happy with them. I still need to pull the seatbelt buckles off of uh, these seats that I'm sitting in, but it was a bit of an accomplishment. I've been filming stuff for that video for f probably a couple weeks now. Uh, I lost my grandfather this past week, and so there was a lot of complications and stuff with that as far as my time frame to do anything. So I just wanted to get do something with it. This afternoon I had to run to help finish my parents cleaning out uh, his home, the nursing home. So, but mm, I keep myself sane with working on the car and even taking a few minutes uh, today, which it really, I think my brother and I counted it, it was 50 minutes to throw the seats in the GTO. And like, I haven't worked on a car with my brother in quite a while, and so that was a really great feeling. Uh, and I really appreciate it if you've watched the video to this point. Uh, I've noticed that with through the statistics through YouTube, I've been getting a lot of viewers that have actually watched a lot of stuff, and I've been getting like thousands of minutes of people watching my videos, which is pretty crazy to think about. So, uh, if you like this vid video at all, please give me a like. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for watching, especially if you've gotten to this point. I think the video when I was looking at it on the editing was 19 minutes and 56 seconds, so it's probably going to run to about... 22 minutes or something like that with all this that I'm about to put in there. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to throw a picture uh, on the screen right after this, and that's going to be of how the seats look in the car. Uh, there's going to be a little more to this when I do the uh, final wrap on the back. So like